Hey everybody, Evan here with thetunemusician.com. Today we're going to be going over how to use a crash ride cymbal. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Evan here with thetunemusician.com. I just want to thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, please make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Uh, go ahead and share this video so that way we can get the word out there, but also like this video and comment uh, if you find anything interesting, if you have any questions. Uh, I'd also just love to hear your feedback about all of this that, that we're talking about today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about how to use a crash ride cymbal. Uh, so with a crash ride, there's not really like a right or wrong way to use it. And so I just want to preface the video by saying that. But with that being said, I do want to show some ways that we can uh, really get the most use out of a crash ride cymbal and um, just show some examples. And it's really all self-explanatory. Uh, this is nothing profound. It's just what you can do with a crash ride symbol and the name entails crash ride so we can crash it we can ride on it and, and keep uh, rhythm you know whatever beat we may be, whatever beat we may be doing we could keep the rhythm with that beat so um, and then also we can get some crash accents if we're keeping rhythm on the, the bow of the ride right now I have this uh, this is actually a 20 inch Saluda Mist X heavy crash ride um, and my set normally it's 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 a Sabian HHX Legacy series because this Saluda Mistex Crash is a lot brighter than the HHX Legacy, so you're gonna notice the difference there. But I'm just gonna play it um, first. I'll show you. You know, we can ride on obviously on a crash ride symbol. Obviously, we can crash on this crash ride, too. And then we could also keep beat on it, ride on the bow of, of the cymbal, and then crash for accents here and there. So there's a ton of different companies that make crash rides and you don't even necessarily need a crash ride type symbol to be able to crash on a ride or ride on a crash. <laughs> and so I feel like the term crash ride gets thrown out there a lot, uh, but I actually I'll, I'll ride on my crash symbol a lot. This legacy uh, HHX cr uh, crash right there, I'll, I'll ride on that. But you obviously don't need um, a crash ride to be able to crash on a ride and, and ride on a crash. Uh, it's really just the symbol manufacturers do look at, at both the properties of a crash and a ride and they try to balance that out in one symbol. But I actually like crashing on my 22 inch legacy ride and I think it honestly sounds better uh, tonality wise with all the other symbols but I think it sounds great uh, as a crash and I'm really, my ears have warmed up more to the, the darker sounding cymbals um, over the past several years.
So there's not really a right or wrong way to play a crash ride symbol, and you don't need a crash ride symbol to be able to crash on a ride or ride on a crash. So I hope this has been helpful for you. This wasn't really meant to be a super uh, instructional video just because of Crash Ride. I mean, the, the name of, of what you're doing is, is in the name of the symbol. But you don't need a Crash Ride to be able to do those things. Figure out what works for you and what sound is going to fit your drumming needs. But I hope that this has been uh, at least enjoyable for you. If you could, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every single time we upload a video here um, and like this video. Uh, share it if you enjoyed it. But let me know in the comments uh, if you have any questions. Uh, what were your thoughts? Did you enjoy the first uh, symbol better, the Salute of Mist X that I had, or this Sabian uh, HHX Legacy? I want to know in the comments. Let me know. But until next time, stay tuned.